Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an electronic voltage regulator that works with input voltages from 85 volts to 265 volts AC. The output stays stable at 220 volts and can be adjusted as needed. This project has domain sections. The first part is a PFC circuit that boosts the input from 85 volts AC to 330 volts DC. The second part is a 2.5 kW H-bridge inverter that converts the DC into 220 volts AC. I've connected an oscilloscope to the output so we can see the waveform after conversion. The input voltage is 100 volts and the output voltage is 220 volts. The waveform displayed is a pure sine wave. The output voltage is adjustable, so you can fine-tune it to match different types of loads. Let me adjust the output voltage now, so you can easily see how the voltage responds. Keep an eye on the multimeter. As I turn the potentiometer, the output voltage starts to change. Under normal conditions, the PFC output is around 380 volts to C. However, since the MOSFETs I'm using are rated for only about 400 volts, I've lowered the output to 330 volts to keep everything running safely. I'm sure you'll find this circuit exciting. Right after a quick introduction to my partner and sponsor, JLCPCB, I'll walk you through exactly how to build it. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting-edge, in-house factories, and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high precision assembly all in one place. Get one to eight layer PCBS for just $2. Efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB six layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality six layer PCBS for just $5. Plus to you enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. This is the H-bridge inverter circuit. It uses a few key components, including a MOSFET, an inductor, and the EGSOO to SPWM controller to convert DC voltage into a pure sine wave AC output. The main component on this circuit is the EGSOO to board, which generates PWM signals to regulate the output voltage. It also includes built-in protection features, such as over temperature and overload protection. The output drive is enhanced using the IR-113 driver, which boosts the control signals to drive the MOSFET more effectively. With 4 IRF or 6 ohm MOSFET, the output power can reach up to 2.5 kilowatts without any issues. The output inductor, rated at 3.5 millihenries, is essential. It smooths the PWM signal and helps produce a clean sine wave suitable for AC loads. 
Here's the PCB I had manufactured by JLCPCB after uploading my Gerber file. The board quality is excellent, the silkscreen is clear, the edges are clean, and the copper traces are very well finished. JLCPCB always delivers high quality PCBs at a very affordable price, and their turnaround time is super fast. This is the PFC stage designed to handle up to 1000 watts of power with an integrated power supply for the control circuit. The circuit includes an input EMI filter, output filter capacitors, and the control IC, which is mounted on the back side of the board. I've designed this PCB to make it easy for you to build. You can find all the schematic and Gerber files in the video description. They're completely free. Just upload the Gerber files to JLCPCB if you want to get high quality PCBs like the one I'm using here. This is how the PFC circuit works with an input voltage of 100 volts and an output voltage of 380 volts. I made the mistake of running to high a voltage into my H bridge. You'll see what happened next. As soon as I connected the H bridge to the PFC output, the fuse blew right away. There was a quick flash, as you probably saw in the video. This caused the MOSFET to fail instantly, but fortunately, the control circuit was not damaged. Here is the damaged MOSFET. All of its pins are shorted together. I reduced the output voltage to 330 volts, replaced the damaged MOSFET, and the circuit started working normally again. Here's a small tip I want to share with you for checking MOSFET. Normally, people use the ohm setting on the multimeter, but it's better to switch to diode mode when testing MOSFET. MOSFET have a built-in body diode, and when they're damaged, the pins are usually shorted internally. If your multimeter still shows a normal diode voltage drop, then the MOSFET is likely still working. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and gave you some useful ideas for your own projects. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video.